So this is the first required outfit of the week. More as possible. Title IX. Thank you women for being in sports. Today is just a practice for the Horizon League Championships and then tomorrow is when the competition actually starts. So I guess this is Horizon League Championships part one. Wednesday boys compete three meter, Thursday girls compete three meter, Friday boys compete one meter, and Saturday girls compete one meter. Hi, Dadum. Hola. Let'd you get there, buddy? I picked up on that pun. Speaker. Wow. It's a speaker. This is nice. So let's uh, go over it a little bit. We have this nice little holographic kind of thing going on the sides here, a little reflective. Got, you know, play, you know, start button, power button, all that nice stuff. I think it was a whole ox cord on this, you know? We could have used this in Midori's car a long time ago. The Horizon League sent us a gift. We'll unbox it later.
I am Julie Rowe Lash, the proud commissioner of the Horizon League, and we are so excited to welcome you to Indianapolis for the Horizon League Swimming and Diving Championships. As you get prepared to start the championships, we wanted to offer you this gift. And this really is for two reasons. One, just to celebrate and congratulate you on making it to this pinnacle point in your sports season. And two, to thank you for being such an incredible ambassador of your institution and the Horizon League as you work hard in the pool and of course in the classroom. We really wanna amplify your experience. And again, congratulations and best of luck this week. <clears throat> All right, guys, I've been putting off doing this unboxing for long enough. It's time to unbox this gift that the Horizon League commissioner has given us. As you guys just saw, Julie Rolash is our athletic commissioner for the Horizon League, and I honestly have so much respect for her. I watched an interview with some random business student or something from IUPUI, and she seemed like she had a lot of good things to say. She was very business-minded and looks like a hard worker. And honestly, she must be caring if she's given us athletes gifts. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is gone because the Horizon League Championship is now over. I know the results, but you don't. Stay tuned, watch the rest of the parts in order to see what happens in the Horizon League Championships. Anyways, let's get to opening this box. Nice black box, nice black sleek box. Oh, shoot, wrong way. Nice black sleek box. And you guys already kind of know because Blake was saying it in the video earlier, but it is a wireless speaker. It's pretty cool, actually. It says Horizon League on it right there, and um, I'm sure it gets pretty loud. It's a cool trophy item, that's for sure. We got a little accessory bag. What does it come with? I think Blake was saying it's an aux cord. Okay, so we got a micro USB charger and also an aux cord. That's a W. It's always good to have extra cords lying around. And hey, a backup speaker is great. It's always great to have two speakers. It's got a TF in port. I don't even know what that is. A, DF, a DC5V in port. Oh, that's probably just the charger. And an aux cord. Cool, this is awesome. Thank you so much, Horizon League Commissioner. I appreciate it. Anyways, guys, I just want to let you guys know that the next few days are going to be action-packed with constant flips, constant diving, fast races, close finishes. You guys will get to see. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for parts one through five of the Horizon League Championship. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe.